possible, unhuman. But she also remembers the resilience, strength, and faith. I am sure that God's spirit was there, and we came out from Auschwitz as messengers because he needed the messengers, you know? Because if nobody would be back, Auschwitz would be forgotten. She was 17 when she was among the first group of women to arrive at Auschwitz, and while she shared her brutal stories of inhuman torture, pain, fear, and survival, she's convinced if you didn't live through it, you will never fully understand it. But as a survivor, Grossman wants people to understand the staggering cruelty she experienced, witnessing some of the darkest evil ever committed by one group of humans on another, like when Nazi soldiers laughed as they watched innocent people dying in gas chambers. You know, they were playing, they were playing with human lives and laughing, laughing when they saw the, the gas was falling, they were looking through windows how the gas was instead of water coming and how the people are falling and dying. Her sister Leah was one of those people, a fact that upsets her to this day. And after she and the other prisoners were liberated 75 years ago. When I came out of Auschwitz, I had the feeling that I came out of hell. Having survived hell, she wanted to find paradise. She found it in her family and husband. Her husband, Ladislav, won an Oscar in 1965 for Best Foreign Film. A newspaper review of The Shop on Main Street hangs on her bedroom wall. The film focuses on a Slovak Jewish shopkeeper facing Aryanization, something they both experience in their hometown of Humena. Six people got a copy. She proudly shows off a replica statue of her husband's Oscar. He died in 1981. Ever since, Edith has focused on her family, her paradise, but also on making sure no one ever forgets the horrific chapter of history she and millions of other Jews experienced so many years ago. History writes herself. It was Even before. when you will.